Need to learn how to better use lead value to boost your sales? A lot of what goes into marketing and sales revolves around nurturing leads towards conversion. Sure, generating leads and closing deals is also important, but conversion is key. Using marketing, your team can generate leads through channels like online ads, organic searches, and social media. Then your sales teams are responsible for building relationships with leads and nudging them to convert. That's where the real fun and creativity happens. If you're ready to capitalize on conversion, look no further. I'm Noel with JotForm. And in today's video, we'll show you how to track your strategies and figure out what the lead value is behind each conversion. Let's go. Simply put, lead value is the total monetary value each lead contributes to your company. Understanding your lead value can help you in two ways. First, you can assess how effective your current marketing and sales strategies are. After all, you never want to spend more to convert a lead than the actual sale is worth. Second, you can forecast sales and revenues so you can set better marketing and advertising budgets. To determine the value of each lead, you'll first need to calculate how much it costs to acquire one. Then, you can follow these five steps to boost sales via lead value. Your first step is to find the cost per lead in order to determine your lead value. A lower cost per lead means you have valuable content and you're targeting the right audience. Here are the components of the cost per lead formula. Lead acquisition cost is how much it costs to acquire a lead, such as the total spend for a Facebook ad campaign, or the cost to produce a blog post that drives traffic through SEO or organic social shares. Leads acquired is the number of leads that a campaign generates, measured as newsletter signups or a different set of criteria that suits your definition of a lead in your sales funnel. Use these two components to calculate your cost per lead using lead acquisition cost divided by leads acquired. This equals your cost per lead. Now that you've found your cost per lead, you can find your lead value. The new component in this formula is the total sales value, which is the revenue brought in by a campaign. To determine lead value, take your total sales value and divide it by your leads acquired. In the next phase of assessing how cost-effective your marketing and sales strategies are, you'll want to calculate your conversion rate. The new component here is converted leads, which are the leads that turned into paying customers. To determine your conversion rate, take your converted leads and divide them by your leads acquired. Now that you've figured out all your important lead value and conversion rate data, you can project future revenue. Doing so will allow you to set appropriate marketing budgets that achieve your new sales goals. Say you made $1,500 from your first online course. Perhaps you want to make $3,000 on your next one. The formula to calculate what's needed to achieve this goal is sales goal divided by lead value. You can estimate that you'll need 40 leads to reach a sales goal of $3,000. This falls in line with your current conversion rate of 50%. Here's the formula to set an appropriate marketing budget to achieve this goal. Take the number of leads needed times the cost per lead. This gives you your marketing spend amount. Let's say you need 40 leads and in the past you spent $5 to acquire each lead. Then you should budget $200 for Facebook ads for your next online course. These calculations are there to help guide you and provide variables that you can experiment with for future campaigns. Don't be surprised if the campaign doesn't perform exactly as it did before. With that being said, none of the numbers in these formulas are set in stone. It's possible to change them to better optimize your strategy and improve marketing performance. Get creative with lead value data the same way you get creative with content. In the example I used, you sold your online course for $150 per student. What if you lowered the cost to $100? Does that improve your conversion rate? What if you try a different campaign type other than Facebook ads to see if you attract more leads? Try collecting feedback from your customers. This can help you understand what drew them into your sales funnel and why they converted. JotForm can help you each step of the way on your journey to conversion, from starting the lead generation process to closing the deal. You're well on your way to being a conversion expert in no time. Do some digging to figure out your lead value and then get creative with your marketing. Let's do a quick review. 
When you want to use lead value to boost your sales, just follow these five steps. One, find your cost per lead. Two, determine your lead value. Three, discover your conversion rate. Four, forecast your sales and set new budgets accordingly. And five, use your newfound data to improve your sales and ultimately your profits. Thanks for watching JotForm. I'm Noel. See you soon.